In today's session, we are going to be talking about drop down navigation menu using CSS and HTML. I am going to show you a sample of drop down navigation menu. Here we see the drop down navigation menu. In the most over over the links, we have different background colors. And if the most over over this link, we have our different unordered list with some links. So this brand is the link and it has some categories. So this is our first level unordered list and this one is second level unordered list. Before continue with this lecture, you need to know the basic structure of HTML and CSS. If you want to know the basic structure of CSS and HTML, check the link. Check the links given in description below. So, in today's session, we are going to create our drop down navigation menu. I'm going to use Visual Studio 2012. You can also use any text editor. Find you find. And we here we have the HTML page. Let's save this page. We need to save this page in a different folder. Let's create a style sheet. For CSS and this style sheet should also save in the same folder. Let's take our two files in that folder. The folder name was new. We have two files HTML and start sheet. Let's create our div. This is our basic structure of HTML. In body tag, we will create a div with, the, with an ID. We have to set an ID. My, my ID is menu. Inside the div tag, we will create an unordered list. Unordered list. And in unordered list, we need different list items. For list items, we use li tag. And in this item, we need to have some hyperlinks, and for hyperlinks, we use a tag. In href, we define the path uh, for that web page where we want our browser to go. So currently, we don't have any web page, so I will set href equals to hash. I will write the name of our list items. So my first list item is home. Let's imagine we are going to create a drop down navigation menu for our, for an online shopping website. And we have different web pages like home, contact us, and dresses for men, dresses for women, and brands. So we will create different list items. I'm just going to copy and paste this for a few times so that we can save our time. First one is home and second is man. This one woman. It should be brands. And this is contact. Us. So 
So you see this is our an order list. In an order list we have different list items. So let's save and refresh this file. Yes, you see the an order list with some uh, bullets. So the next step is I want to show uh, these list items in horizontal direction, uh, front they are in vertical direction. And the second thing I want to do is I want to remove these bullets. So for this purpose, uh, sorry. We go to our style sheet. In style sheet, we need a selector, read, unordered list, and list items. This is the hashtag menu. Here, we write hash menu. This is div ID. This one is unordered list and inside the list, I, unordered list we have some list item and I want to specify some properties for list items. So I will say load left to display the list item in horizontal direction. And the next thing is I want to remove the bullets. I will use this type property. None. Let's see. In HTML, here we need to define the link for this style sheet. See. Style equals to CSS, text, and CSS. And relation. Our TL defines relation, relation in style sheet. This one is extra where we define the path. So I want to link this HTML file path with style sheet one dot CSS, which one is the name of our style sheet. So here yeah, we close the link. And refresh this file again. Now our uh, unordered list is in horizontal direction with no bullets. So the next thing is I want to create some border because these list items are very close to each other. Uh, now we have some spacing due to border because we have set uh, the color of border white so we cannot see the border clearly. I'm going to change the color. It should be black. Now we see the border. Here we need to define some height and width for this unordered list. Height would be 35 pixels and we is 125 pixels. Let's save and refresh. Now we see we have, uh, we have 
set some meat and white bodies are not done. Now I want to change the background color for the leaves. I will use background property, background color property. Background color pick blue. Next tip and research. The background color is blue, but we cannot see the text. For this, we need to set the property for the text color. For this, we use an other selector menu. Turn on at least this item, and then let's understand how this selector works. In menu, ID menu, we have an order list and then list items. And then we have a tag for these links. So because I want to change the, uh, I want to change the color of these links. So for that purpose, we have used a tag. Color. One. when we finish we see it's working now the next thing we want to do is I want to display this text in center of the process I will use another property that is text align Line to be centered. This is fresh. Now our text is in center from left to right, but it's not in center from top to bottom. I want to make it in center from top to bottom. So for this, we will use another property that is line height property. And in line height, we have to set the same value that we have used in height. So I have used 35. We will set 35 pixels. Now it's in center. So next thing I want to do is I want to remove the underline from the link because I want to remove an, uh, the underline from the link. So for links we have used a tag. So we will use this selector. Another list list item and then hyperlink. For this purpose, we use text decoration. If I set it to none, our underline will be removed. Now we have no underline under these links. So the next thing is if I uh, hover, or if I if the mouse hover over the link, it turns into a small hand. But if the mouse move away from the link, it remains same. I want to make this whole block uh, as a link. So for this, we use a property. This is block. So let's Now this whole block behaves like a link. If we want to go to the page home, we do not need to click on this area. We can, if we click here, we will go to the home page. So that's how block property goes. So the next thing is, we have 
brand. This is the link. And in brand, we have different categories. I want to show these categories under this link. So for this, we will use, we will make an other unordered list. Let's move to HTML code. This is our list item brand. And inside the list item, we will create an unordered list. For this list item, this one is opening tag and this one is closing tag. Inside these tags, we have to use, we have to create an unordered list. And this will be our second level of unordered list. Similarly, inside the unordered list, we need to create some list items. So, inside the list items, we need to create hyperlinks. For hyperlinks, we use a tag. And in a tag, here we define the path for the pages where or where we want our browser to go. Because currently I don't have any page so I will set it hash. Here we write the name of brand or categories of brand. So brand A. A. So this one is our unordered list and inside the unordered list we have used a link and I want to create three to four links so I'm just going to copy and paste it so that we can save our time. So this one is brand A and this should be brand B. Brand C, brand D. This was our an order list, and inside the an order list, we have different categories. If we save this file and refresh the page, we can see the different categories. Now, under the brand, we have four different categories, but I want to make them display right here under this brand law. For this we will define some padding or margin. Uh, by default in HTML we have some padding or padding or some and some margin. Now I need to set padding and margin to zero. This style shows I want to apply these properties to all the elements that are written in HTML code. Margin is 0 pixel and padding should also be 0 pixel. Let's save and refresh this file again. Now the padding, now the margin and padding is removed. The next thing is I want to hide these uh, links or subcategories unless the mouse over over this link. We will use another selector menu. Unordered list and unordered list. Let's understand how this selector works. This was our first level of unordered list and this is second level of unordered list. And inside the unordered list I want to make some changes. For that purpose we have used this selector. Position absolute and display now. I 
want to say uh, if the if I sorry if the mouse hover over this link it should not show these in its subcategories. So let's refresh this file. We have no categories subcategories. We want to make them display when we when the mouse hover over this link. So we have to make some changes. Another selector Cash menu another list list item and inside the list item click the mouse over so I will say over and then we get an unordered list so this selector want to say inside the menu here is an unordered list and then there are, there are some list items and when the mouse hover over these things it shows some unordered list. Let me say display. What should it display? It display a block because we have used here block. So it should display a block. And here we write, we need to write the position relative. Now this is first, not, first level of unordered list, and this unordered list is relative to the second level of unordered list. Let's move forward and replace the file. Now, if I mouse, if the mouse hover over this link, we have these some cat, subcategories. So this one is our second level of unordered list, and it has some list items. Now, I want to do something. I want if I if the mouse hover over the links, it should uh, change the background color. But this we need to use an other selector menu another list item and then links hyperlinks for hyperlink we use a tag and if on hyperlink we hover the mouse we say hover so the background color Green. Let's see. Let's go back. Now you see if the mouse over over the link, the background filter is changing. Now I want to add some more. So some more style I want to remove these corners and I want to make them round so for this we use a property that is border radius border border radius is 9 pixels 9 pixels and we also need to set the border here in first level and order list. See if I need to. Let's see if I need to try. Check. It's working now. We see. Uh, the round corner. We we have replaced corners with these brown boxes. It's also working here. And, uh, I hope you feel that you have learned something. If 
you guys have any questions let me know in comment box and I'm going to wrap up this video if you do not have subscribed this channel do subscribe to it right now thank you so much for watching Allah Hafiz